Thank you, everyone. I'm glad that you were able to join or tune into this channel for this discussion. Today, in this presentation, we'll be discussing researching out the Lordship of the House of Israel. Yes, we'll be discussing how to research and search out the Lordship of the House of Israel. Uh, this is a presentation by the light of Zion. Our, and you can check us out on our website at https column forward slash forward slash www.thelightofzion.com There you will find more information or more teachings to help build your faith. So let's progress with this um, presentation, researching out the Lordship of the House of Israel. So a good question to ask is this, who are the sheep of God's pasture? Who are the sheep of God's pasture? In the book of Psalms, chapter 100, verse 3, there it is written, Say, Know that Yahuwah is God. He is the one who made us, and we belong to him. We are his people and the sheep of his pasture. Yes, the scriptures was, was written or were written for the people of Israel. So the people of Israel are asked to know that Yahuwah is God. He is the one that made us. We belong to him. We are his people, the sheep of his pasture. In the book of Deuteronomy chapter 32 verse 6, there it is written, God is asking the people of Israel, Is this the way you, that you should treat Yahuwah, O foolish and O wise people? Is he not your father who caused your existence, the one who made you and firmly established you? Yes. Yahuwah is the God that created and established Israel, the nation of Israel. So you should know that Yahuwah is our God. In verse 9 of the book of Deuteronomy chapter 32, verse 9, there is written, For Yahuwah's people are his portion. Jacob is his inheritance. So Yahuwah's people are his portion, Jacob, which is Israel, are his inheritance, the people that belongs to him. In the book of Amos chapter 3 verse 1, there it is written, Say, hear this word that Yahuwah has spoken concerning you, O people of Israel, concerning the whole family that I brought out of the land of Egypt. So the scripture is still directed to the whole family of Israel. He said the people that he brought out of the land of Egypt, they are his people, the sheep of his pasture. Yes, the whole house, the nation of Israel, is represented as the sheep belonging to Yahuwah. Yes, Israel is the sheep of God's pasture. So now that we have identified the sheep of God's 
posture. Let's move ahead. The question of what we can do, should discuss is this. Who or why is the lost sheep of the house of Israel? Why is the sheep of the house of Israel lost? Why is the house the sheep of the house of Israel lost? Well, the nation of Israel divided and became two nations in the day after King Solomon's reign. In the book of 1 Kings chapter 11 verse 31 to 32, there is written, Then prophet Ahijah said to Jeroboam, said, take, piece, take ten pieces of for yourself, for this is what Yahuwah, the God of Israel, say, says, Here I am reaping the kingdom out of the hands of Solomon, and I will give you ten tribes, but one tribe will remain he is for the sake of my servant David and for the sake of Jerusalem the city I have chosen out of all the tribes of Israel. Yes, in the day of after King Solomon the nation of Israel was divided into two. <clears throat> so Ten tribe was given to Jeroboam and one tribe was left to remain. To be that is Judah was remained to remain in Jerusalem. The ten tribe northern kingdom of Israel became known as Ephraim. While the one the one tribe southern kingdom of Israel became known as Judah or Judea, Judean kingdom. So these two nations, the enemies of God and his people attacked and scattered on every mountain and nations. So that is how the sheep of Israel became the lost sheep of the house of Israel because these two nations were attacked by the enemies of God, God's people of God and his people, and scattered them on every mountain and nations. So, what happened to the sheep of the house of Israel? What happened to them? To understand what happened to the sheep of the house of Israel, uh, pay attention to what is written in the book of Ezekiel, chapter 34, verse 5 and 6. Yahuwah the God of Israel said this about his sheep. Yahuwah said this, he said, So they were scattered because there was no shepherd. There we are scattered and became food to ev for every wild beast of the field. My sheep were straying on all the mountains and every hill, every high hill. My sheep were scattered over all the surfaces, surface of the earth, with no one searching for them or seeking to find them. So yes, Yahuwah said that his sheep, which is the nation of Israel, the whole house of Israel was scattered on every high mountain, all over the surface of the earth, with no one searching for them, because there was no shepherd. The shepherds that God put in charge to take care of his sheep, which is the leaders of Israel, they fail to do what they're supposed to do, which is the shepherd the sheep. But they rather they were more interested in feeding themselves. So God's sheep was scattered 
because there was no shepherd, no true shepherd to gather them and to take care of them and care for them. So the whole house of Israel were scattered because there was no true shepherd to shepherd them. So let's move ahead. What is the enemy's plan and goal regarding the sheep of the house of Israel? What, was, what is their plan and their goal? <clears throat> to understand the plan and the goal of the enemies of, of God and his people, uh, let's consider the book of Psalms, chapter 83, verse 1 to 4. And there it is written, O God, do not be silent. Do not keep quiet or still, O Divine One. For look, your enemies are in an uproar. Those who hate you act arrogantly. With cunning, they secretly plot against your people. They conspire against your treasured ones. They say, come and let us annihilate them as a nation, so that the name of Israel may not be remembered anymore. Yes, the goal of the enemies of the sheep of Israel is to scatter Israel away from their promised land. And let Israel as a nation so that the name of Israel may be remembered no more. In the book of Psalms 83 verse 12, there is written, the enemy said this, therefore they say, let us take possession of the land where God dwells. So the enemies knew that God is with the people of Israel, but they want to take over the possession of their land, the land where God dwells. Yes, their goal is to take over all the inheritance that God gave to his sheep of Israel, the people he has known. In the next slide, we're going to consider the enemy's boldness. <clears throat> For in the book of Ezekiel, chapter 35, verse 10, there it is written, Because you said, These two nations and, two, and these two lands will become mine, and we will take possession of both, of both even though Yahuwah himself was there. So the enemies of Israel, they are bold, they have bold, they are, they are full of boldness. Because in the book of Ezekiel, they said they will take over the two lands, which is the northern kingdom and the southern kingdom of Israel. They say even if Jehovah is there, even if Yahuwah is there, they will take over the land by force. That is how bold the enemy of the sheep of Israel is, the enemy of God of Israel. So did they succeed? Did the enemy succeed in taking over the, the land of Israel? Well, in the book of John chapter 10 verse 10, Yahushua, the true Messiah, said this, that the thief does not come unless it is to steal and to kill and to destroy. Yes, he mentioned that these thieves, that these enemies of Israel will come, they will steal, they will kill off the sheep of Israel, and they will destroy the land. So yes, the enemies of the sheep of Israel came and they stole and they killed and they destroyed the sheep of Israel away 
from the pasture ground. In the year 70 AD, the enemies of the sheep of Israel, the Romans, they stole their land, they stole their land inheritance, they killed off many sheep of the house of Israel, and destroyed their homeland inheritance. They scattered many as slaves among the nations, as the Messiah foretold in the book of Luke, chapter 21, verse 20 to 24. Yes. So the Messiah is aware that these enemies of the boldness of these enemies of God's people, uh, because they say they will take over the land, even if Yahuwah, Yahuwah is there. So they came and they killed and they stole and they destroyed the land and they scattered the people of Israel. The true sheep of the house of Israel, they scattered them away from the land that God gave to them. <coughs> So, what is Yahuwah's decision regarding his sheep? Since the enemies of God and, and the enemies of the sheep of Israel has scattered his sheep away because there was no shepherd for them. So, what is Yahuwah's decision about his sheep? Well, in the book of Ezekiel, chapter 37, verse 21 and 22, there it is written, <coughs> So then tell them, this is what the sovereign law, Yahuwah says, I will take the Israelites from among the nations where they have gone, and I will collect them together from every direction, and bring them to their land. I will make them one nation in the land, on the mountain of Israel, and one king will rule over all of them, and there will no longer be two nations, nor will they be divided any longer into two kingdom, kingdoms. So Yahuwah said he's going to gather back his sheep, bring them back from among the nations where they have gone. And then bring them back to their land. And one king will rule over them. And there will no longer be two nations. Nor will they be divided in, any longer into two kingdoms. So Yahuwah's decision is that he will gather back his sheep. Of the house of Israel. From where the enemy have scattered them. Among the nations that he will gather them back. In the book of Matthew, chapter 7, verse 20 and 21, there is written, Say, really then, by their fruits you will recognize those, those men. Not everyone saying to me, Lord, Lord, will enter the, into the kingdom of the heavens, but only the ones doing the will of my Father, who is in heaven will. So, Yahushua, the Messiah, gave us a key to identify who the people of the true sheep of the house of Israel are. He said, not everyone say, calling God, Lord, Lord, will enter the kingdom, but only those doing the will of the Father in heaven, they are the ones that will return and inherit the kingdom. So, to identify the people of Israel, the sheep of the house of Israel, you have to find out who are the ones serving the will of the Father. And the will of the Father is the punishment that God said He's going to bring upon the people of Israel when they break away from His covenant. So once you identify those doing the will, serving the will of God, then you have identified or researched out who the shape of the house of Israel are.
you will know them by their fruits. Yes, you will recognize even the sheep of the house of Israel who are serving the will of God, the punishment that is imposed on them by the things written about them. Uh, yes, the book of Deuteronomy chapter 28 verse 15 to 68 uh, it stated all the things that will befall or will come upon the sheep of the house of Israel when they break away from the covenant. So if you are researching to find out who are really the true people of Israel, so you look for the things, the causes that God said is going to put on the people of Israel. That is how you will identify who the sheep the Lordship of the House of Israel law. <clears throat> so, to identify the sheep of the House of Israel, you have to identify them by what is written. What is written that will before or come upon them. In the book of Exodus chapter 20 verse 5, there Yahuwah told all Israel, so you must not bow down to them, nor be enticed to serve them. For I, I, I Yahuwah, your God, am a God who requires exclusive devotion, bringing punishment for the error of the fathers upon sons upon the third generation and upon the fourth generation of those who hate me. So Yahuwah told the people of Israel that they should not bow down to serve any other God because he, Yahuwah the God of Israel, is a jealous God or he requires exclusive devotion. And there he stated that he will bring punishment for the errors of father upon the sons and upon the third generation and upon even upon to the fourth generation of those who hate him, who hate him or those who abandon him to go and serve other gods. So all his robe broke the agreement with Yahuwah, the God of Israel. For they left Yahuwah to go and serve the gods of the other nations. And therefore God brought the punishment as agreed upon the nation of Israel. In the book of Amos chapter 3 verse 1 to 3, there it is written, Hear the word that Yahuwah has spoken concerning you, O people of Israel, concerning the whole family that I brought up out of the land of Egypt. Say, so you alone I have known out of all the families of the earth. That is why I will call you to account for all your errors. Say, so we too walk together unless they have, met, have agreed to meet. So Yahuwah said that he is going to do what? Deal with the people of Israel according to the agreement that their ancestors or their forefathers entered into. So he is dealing with the whole family that he brought out of the land of Egypt. And earlier I already explained to you that the whole family of Egypt, of Israel, the family that God brought out of Egypt, they are the sheep of God's pasture. So God is dealing with his sheep according to agreement. And the agreement is that he is going to bring punishment upon the people of Israel when they break away from the covenant that he made with them. And all Israel, yes, did break the covenant. And therefore, Yahuwah is carrying out the punishment phase, the punishment phase, phase or the stage, according to the agreement 
according to what Israelites agreed to get it to enter into. <clears throat> so therefore Yahuwah unleashed all the agreed punishment and vengeance upon all Israel until it is completed. So this punishment will be upon Israel until it is completed. <clears throat> so let's continue to identify the sheep of the house of Israel by what is written. The book of Deuteronomy chapter 28 verse 15. There it is written, But if you will not listen to the voice of Yahuwah your God, by taking care to do all his commandments and his statutes that I am commanding you today, all these curses will come upon you and overtake you. Verse 20 is written, Yahuwah will send upon you the curse the confusion and punishment in every uh, every undertaking of yours until you have been annihilated and have quickly perished because of your bad practices and your forsaking me. Verse 37 And you will become an object of horror and of scorn and of and a cause for ridicule among all the peoples to whom Jehovah drives you. Verse 43 to 44, <clears throat> there is written, The foreign residents who is in your midst will keep ascending higher and higher over you, while you by yourself will keep descending lower and lower. He will learn to you, but you will not learn to him. He will become the head, while you yourself will become the tail. So, by what is written in the scripture according to the agreement, you can identify who the Israelites are. Who are the ones lending to the nations today? Who are the people that have become a cause for ridicule among all the peoples of whom they, wherever they were driven. Well, once you can have, you can by these things written, identify who the true people of Israel are today. For they are the people that has all this calamity and all these causes following them wherever they wherever they go. They have all these calamities following them. Um, in the book of Deuteronomy chapter 28 verse 48 to 50, there is written, Yahuwah will send you will send your enemies against you. And you will serve them while you are while you are hungry and thirsty and poorly clothed and lacking everything. He will put an iron iron yoke on your neck until he has annihilated you. Yahuwah will raise up against you a distant a distant nation from the ends of the earth. It will pounce like an eagle a nation whose language you will not understand, a nation fierce in appearance, that we no that we, that we show no regard to the old or favor to the young. Verse 68, And Yahuwah will certainly bring you back to Egypt by ship, by the way that I told you, you will never see it again. And there you will have to sell yourself to your enemies as male and female slaves, or there will be no buyer. So you can identify the people of Israel, the sheep of the house of Israel, 
There's the lost sheep of the house of Israel. You can identify them by what is written. They are a people that these causes and calamities are following. So Yahuwah, a people that their enemy came against them, a people that will their that are serving their enemies in hunger and in thirst and in poorly clothed while lacking everything. They are the people of Israel, the Lordship of the house of Israel. So Yahuwah will raise against you a distant nation from the ends of the earth who will pounce and pounce like an eagle. Yes, you will agree after looking through this and looking at what history has proved that the people of Israel, the lordship of the house of Israel, are not white, but they are the dark-skinned people. They are the ones that has these causes following them. The original house of Israel are not white. As you see today, the people claiming to be Jewish in the land. So, you can identify the lordship of the house of Israel by what is written about them. For God is dealing with them according to agreement, according to the covenant that their ancestors entered into until it is completed. So that is how you identify the lordship of the house of Israel. <clears throat> Again, identify Israel by what is written. In the book of Hosea, chapter 6, verse 1 to 5, there is written, Come and let us return to Yahuwah, for he has torn us to pieces, but he will heal us. He struck us, but he will bind our wounds. He will revive us after two days. On the third day, he will raise us up and we will live before him. We will know, we will earnestly seek to know Yahuwah. He is going out is as certain as the dawn. He will come to us like a pouring rain, like a spring rain that saturates the earth. What should I do with you, Ephraim? What should I do with you, Judah? For you, a loyal love is like the morning cloud, like the dew that quickly vanishes. That is why I will cut them down by means of the prophets. I will kill them with the words of my mouth, and the judgment on you will shine as the light. Yes, you can identify Israel. You can identify the lordship of the house of Israel. Uh, by what is written. In the book of Hosea, here we read, Yahuwah mentioned in verse 4, What should I do with you, Ephraim, and what should I do with you, Judah? These two nations are the, the sheep of his pasture, and they are the lost sheep of the house of Israel. For those both nations became lost. Yes, both nations became lost. Both nations were destroyed by their enemies. Both nations were scattered away from their promised land that God gave to them to inherit. Those, both nations are serving the punishment, the judgment of God upon them. So God said that the punishment on Israel or the judgment that he put on them will shine as a light to identify who the lordship of the house of Israel are. Yes, the judgment or the punishment that God imposed on Israel will shine as a light to identify who the true people of the house of Israel are the people that God is dealing with, the sheep belonging to God. They are the people serving this punishment. And in verse 2 he said, 
he will revive Israel after two days of punishment. Then on the third day, he will raise us up. So Israel will go through a two days of punishment as recommended by Yahuwah, the God of Israel, because of breaking the covenant that they made with Yahuwah. So the judgment of Yahuwah upon the sheep of the house of Israel will shine as a light to identify us to anyone who wants to know. It will be upon Israel until two days, that is, until 2,000 years has ended. That is how long this punishment on the ship, Lord's ship of Israel will be before it is ended for two days or 2,000 years. Let's continue. Identify the ship of the house of Israel by what is written. In the book of Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 64 and 65, there is written, Yahuwah will scatter you among all the nations from the world end of the earth to the other end of the earth and there you will have to serve gods of wood and gods and of stone which you and your your forefathers have not known you will have to you will have no peace among those nations nor a place of rest for the sole of your foot rather Yahuwah will give you there an anxious heart and feeling eyes and a feeling of despair. So Yahuwah said he's going to scatter Israel among the nations when they break away from, his, from him, when they break his covenant. And there among these nations, Israel, the sheep of Israel will be led to serve gods of woods and gods of stone that they have not known, their forefathers have not known. So, and among these nations, even though they will be calling on the same gods with the people of the nations, Israel will still have no peace. Israel will still have no rest. Rather, Israel will have what? Anxious of heart and feeling of eyes and feeling of despair. So which people has no rest among the nations where they are scattered? Which people are being killed all every day on the streets? Which people are serving this punishment of God as, as it is written? Those are the ones, the sheep of the sheep of the house of Israel. Yes, those are the ones having the, the punish. The, those are the ones known as the sheep of the house of Israel, which people are serving the gods given to them by the other nations, gods that are not of their own, of their own, of, or of their own image. That is the loss sheep of the house of Israel. That's how you identify the lost sheep of the house of Israel, a people serving the gods of other nations. Yes, ask yourself, the God that you are calling upon and serving is it the God given to you by the other nations? Is it the God given to you by the other nation that you are calling upon? So which race went around the earth converting the, the other people into to worship their own gods and their form of religion? <clears throat> The black man didn't do that. He didn't go about converting other people of other races to come and worship their own 
God. So that's how you identify the Lordship of the house of Israel. They are a people serving the gods of other nations, God given to them or introduced to them by the other nations, a people who has forgotten their own God, a people that has no God image of their own. That is the Lordship of the house of Israel. Yes, Yahuwah's sheep are being held hostage in the false religions of the nations where they were scattered. Yes, Yahuwah's sheep are into the religions and religions of other nations where they were scattered. That's how you identify who the Lordship of the house of Israel are by what is written. But what will Yahuwah do regarding his sheep? He said, Yahuwah will search out his sheep and he will regard them to their pain or to their homeland. In the book of Ezekiel chapter 34 verse 11 to 14, there it is written, for this is what the Sovereign Law Yahuwah says, Say, here I, 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 here I am, and I myself will search for my sheep, and I will care for them, and I will care for my sheep, like a shepherd who has found his, his, his scattered sheep, and, I am, and is feeding them. I will rescue them from all the places where they were scattered in the days of cloud and till gloom. I will bring them out from the peoples and collect them together from the land and bring them into their land and feed them on the mountains of Israel by the streams and by the by the all by all the dwelling places of the land. In a good pasture I will feed them, and the land where they and the land where where they graze will be no will be on Israel's high mountains. They will lie down there in a good grazing land, and they will feed on choice pastures on the mountains of Israel. <clears throat> so Yahuwah said he's going to do what? Search out for his sheep. The sheep belonging to him. In all the places that they have gone, in all the places that they were, they were scattered, he's going to search them out and he's going to bring them back and collect them together from all the lands and bring them back to the land of Israel. And there he's going to do what? Make them lie down and feed them in good pasture. So they will graze in, the high, in Israel's high mountain. So the sheep of Israel will return to their homeland where they belong. For they are the sheep of God's pastures. So there we, he will bring them back to the high mountain of Israel. So there they will lie down in a good grazing land and they will feed on choice pastures on the mountains of Israel. So Israel you are going home. Get yourself ready. For Yahuwah is searching out for the sheep belonging to him in order to bring them or gather them back to where they belong. <clears throat> so Yahuwah will search, will search out his sheep and will gather them. In the book of Ezekiel chapter 34 verse 15 and 16 there it says, it's written, I myself will feed my sheep, and I myself will make them lie down, 
declares the sovereign law, Yahuwah. The lost one I will search for, the strong one I will bring back, the injured I will bandage, and the weak I will strengthen. But the fat one and the strong one I will annihilate. I will feed them, I will feed that one with judgment. So Yahuwah said he's going to search and he's going to regather back his, his scattered sheep of the house of Israel. So the lordship of the house of Israel, he will search them out and he will bring them back. And he will, in, he, the injured one he will bandage or heal and the weak ones he will strengthen. But the fat ones, that is the stubborn ones, and the strong ones, he said, he will annihilate. I will feel so. He will feel such ones with with judgment. Yes, in the book of Isaiah, chapter ten, verse twenty and twenty to twenty-three, there is written, "In that day, those remaining of of Israel and the survivors of the house of Jacob will no longer support themselves." on the one who struck them, but they will support themselves on Yahuwah, the Holy One of Israel, with faithfulness. Only a remnant will return, the remnant of Jacob, to the mighty God. For though your people, O Israel, are as the grain of the sand of the sea, only a remnant of them will return. And extermination has been decided on, and justice will engulf them. Yes, the extermination decided by the sovereign law, Yahuwah of armies, will be carried out in the entire land. So, yes, Yahuwah said he's going to give judge, judgment, feed the stubborn ones, or the fat ones, or the unrepentant ones, the ones that refuse to return back to the pen where they belong is going to feed such ones with what? With judgment. That's why in Isaiah it says only a remnant will return, the remnant of Jacob. So the rest once an extermination has been decided on and justice will engulf them. Yes, the extermination decided on by the sovereign law, Yahuwah, will be carried out in, the, in all the land. So the sheep of Israel will be returned back to where they belong. But not all sheep will return, because the stubborn ones, the fat ones, those who refuse to repent of the errors of their ancestors, God said he will annihilate all such ones, all such fat ones who keep following after the running after the nations. He said he will annihilate all such sheep, lost sheep of the house of Israel. So a good question to ask is this. When will the searching out of the sheep of his lordship of Israel begin? When will the searching out of the lordship of the house of Israel begin? <clears throat> In the book of Amos chapter 9, verse 8 to 11, there is written, He said, Look, the eyes of the sovereign law, Yahuwah, are on the sinful kingdom and he will annihilate it from the surface of the land. But I will not completely annihilate the house of Jacob, declares Yahuwah. For look, I am given the command, and I will shake the house of Israel among all the nations, just as one shakes a sieve, and not a pebble falls to the ground. They will die by the sword, all the sinners of my people, those who are saying that the calamity will not come near us or reach us. In that day I will raise up the boat of David that is falling. I will repair the breaches 
and I will restore its ruins. I will rebuild it as in the days of long ago. So Yahuwah here outlined how he is going to handle the situation regarding his lordship. Uh, he said his eye is on the sinful nation of Israel because all Israel have sinned. So his eyes is on the sinful nation of Israel. He said he is going to do what? Going to give the command. No, he is going to first annihilate the house of Jacob, but he is not going to completely annihilate the house of Jacob. But he is going to give the command and Israel will be shaking as a sieve among the nations. He said like a pebble, not a pebble, a pebble will fall to the ground. So Israel will be scattered among the nations. Israel will be saved and Israel will be scattered among the nations. He said, but they will die by the sword, all the sinners of, my, of his people. Those who are saying that the calamity will not come near us or reach us, all such ones will die among the nations by the sword. And he's going to do this in the day when he will raise the boat of David that is fallen. So before raising up the boat of David that is fall, that has fallen, God and before he will repair the breaches, before he will re restore the ruins of the house of Israel, God said he's going to do what? Put to death all the sinners of the house of Israel, for they will not return back to the promised land. They will not return to the, back to the homeland. All the lost sheep of the house of Israel that were scattered among the nations, will, the stubborn ones, will be put to death. So the searching out will start in the last days of the punishments and scattering time. That is in the last days of the 2,000 years on, on Israel. And it will be done before the rebuilding and restoration of the house of David that fell in the year 70 AD. Yes, it will be done before the rebuilding of the house of Israel. The book of Matthew chapter 25 verse 32 to 33 is written, all the nations will be gathered before him and he will separate people one from another just as a shepherd separates the sheep from the goats and he will put the sheep on his right hand but the goats on his left so before Israel will be restored and rebuilt again Yahushua the Messiah said that all nations will be gathered before him and he will separate people from one another. He will separate people as to who is the sheep of the house of Israel and who is not of the sheep of the house of Israel. He will put the sheep on the right side and the goats on the left. So before the rebuilding or the restoration of the house of Israel, there will be a separation of the people as to the true sheep of the house of Israel will be identified by the Messiah and put on their rights on their right on his right hand while the other people those who are not of the sheep of the house of Israel the goats will be on the left so yes, Yahuwah is searching out and separating the sheep belonging to him from the rest of the people, even today in these last days. <clears throat> there is a separating work that is going on. 
the house I mean, the sheep of the house of Israel is being identified and is being separated from the from the fake people, from the fake ones, and they are being separated from sheep, sheep from God. Okay, so this this separation or searching out of the sheep of the house of Israel will be done in the final days of the 2,000 years punishment upon the nation of Israel. Again, when will the searching out of the sheep begin? In the book of Matthew chapter 10, verse 5 to 7, there it is written, These twelve, Yahushua sent out, giving them this instruction. So do not go off into the roads of the nations and do not enter any Samaritan city, but instead go continually to the Lordship of the house of Israel. And as you go, preach, saying, the kingdom of the heavens has drawn near. So Yahushua sent his disciples to go and declare the good news to only the Lordship of the house of Israel, not to everyone, not to every nation, but to the Lordship of the house of Israel. Those are the ones the good news is to be declared to. The good news is that the kingdom of heaven has drawn near to execute the action, the next action that was foretold long ago. And that the kingdom of God is about to be restored and rebuilt. That is the good news. So likewise in this, in this final part of the 2000 years punishment on all Israel, the chosen disciples of our God will leave everything behind and go to declare the good news to the lost sheep of the house of Israel in all the nations where they were scattered. Everyone is not of the Lordship of the house of Israel. So that is why the Messiah said, do not go off into the road to the nations. If you are a chosen disciple, you are looking for the Lordship of the house of Israel to tell them about the good news that the kingdom of our God is about to be restored and rebuilt. And this searching out is to be carried out in this last part of the 2000 years punishment upon the nation of Israel. So who we gather the sheep of the house of Israel together? who we gather the sheep of the house of Israel together. In the book of Matthew, chapter 23, verse 37 to 39, there is written, Jerusalem, Jerusalem, the killer of the prophets and stoner of those sent to her. Say, how often I wanted to gather your children together, the way a hen gathers her cheek under her wings, but you did not want it. Say, so look, your house is abandoned to you. For I said to you, you will not, you will by no means see me from now on, from now until you say, Blessed is the one who comes in the name of in Yahuwah's name. So Yahushua the Messiah said that he has wanted to gather the Lordship of the house of Israel together. But the Lordship of Israel is very stubborn. They do not want that. And because of that, the house was abandoned so that Israel would be a punishment, the 2000 years punishment that Yahuwah recommended for Israel because of our error. So we will not see the Messiah, Yahushua, 
return to 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 gather Israel to get the sheep of Israel together until we say blessed is he that comes in the name of Yahuwah until Israel repents until Israel finishes bearing the punish, 2,000 years punishment imposed on us for our error and our ancestors error until that is completed before Yahushua will return to gather the sheep of the house of Israel together. In the book of Jeremiah chapter 31 verse 10 there it is written, Hear the words of Yahuwah, you nations. So Yahuwah is speaking to the nations. He said, I proclaim this among the islands far away, even as far as America and other places. He said, hear this word, you nations. He said, the one who scattered Israel, we gather him together. He will watch over him as a shepherd does his flock. So the nations are being given a notice that Yahuwah scattered Israel. He allowed the sheep of the house of Israel to be scattered among the nations by the enemies. And he who scattered Israel will do what? Will gather Israel back together. So yes, Yahuwah will send his son Yahushua at the appointed time to gather back the sheep of the house of Israel. And he will rule over them at the appointed time. So when will the sheep of the house of Israel be gathered? Well, in the book of Matthew chapter 24, verse 29 to 31, there it is written, Immediately after the tribulation of those days, the sun will be darkened, and the moon will not give its light, and the stars will fall from heaven, and the powers of heaven will, sh will shake. Then the sign of the Son of Man will appear in heaven, and all the tribes of the earth will be themselves in grief, and they will see the Son, the son of Man coming on the clouds of heaven with power and great glory, and he will send out his angels with a great trumpet sound, and they will gather his chosen ones together from the four winds, and from one extremity of the heavens to the other extremity. Yes, at the end of the 2,000 years punishment time, or tribulation time upon all Israel, the recommended tribulation or punishment time for all Israel, Yahuwah will gather back his lordship of the house of Israel. Yes, he will gather them back after they finish serving the punishment imposed upon them. So, Yahuwah our God will rule as king. In the book of Ezekiel, chapter 20, verse 34, to that is, it is written, As surely as I am alive, declares the Sovereign Lord Yahuwah, I will rule as king over you with a mighty hand, with an outstretched arm, and with an outpouring of rage. I will bring you out from the peoples and collect you together out of the lands where you have been scattered with a mighty hand and with an outstretched arm and with an outpouring of rage I will bring you into the wilderness of the peoples and enter into judgment with you there face to face just as I entered into judgment with you your forefathers in the wilderness of, of the land of Egypt so I will enter into judgment with you declares the sovereign law Yahuwah I will make you pass under the shepherd's staff and bring you under the obligation to the 
covenant. But I will remove from you the rebels and those transgressing against me, for I will bring them out of the land of their foreign residents, but they will not enter the land of Israel. And you will know, you will have to know that I am Yahuwah. So Yahuwah said he's going to rule as king over his sheep of the house of Israel. So he's going to bring out from the peoples and collect the sheep of Israel out from together from the lands where they were being scattered with a mighty hand and with an outstretched, outstretched arm and with an outpouring of rage. So he's going to bring first bring Israel into the wilderness of the people. That is where we are today. We are scattered among the nations, among the peoples of the nations. We are in the wilderness of the people. And among this wilderness, he's going to enter into judgment with us face to face. For God will judge, finally judge his people at the end of the 2,000 years punishment upon the people of Israel. He will judge us among the wilderness of the people. He said, just as he entered into judgment when he brought our ancestors out from the land of it, in the wilderness of Egypt, so he will enter into judgment with us in the wilderness of the peoples. He will judge his people and decide who is a sheep and who is a goat. He said, he will make you pass under the shepherd's staff and bring you under obligation to the covenant. The covenant is that if Israel turn away from serving and worshiping Yahuwah as God, the consequence of that sin is death. So he said he will bring his people, the sheep of the house of Israel, under obligation to this covenant in the wilderness of the people. He will separate the people as to who is the sheep and who is the goat. The sheep will return back to the, to the pen where they belong, but the goat, he will do what? Pull up and annihilate all with judgment. He will put all to death. Where? Among the wilderness of the people where we have gone, where we have been scattered. So he will, I will bring them out of the land of their foreign residence, but they will not enter the land of Israel. And you will have to know that I am Yahuwah. So Yahuwah will rule or will judge as king as to who will return back to the promised land and who will not make it back to the promised land. At the end of this punishment, 2,000 years punishment time, <clears throat> the book of Ezekiel chapter 39 verse 6 to, 6 to 9 there is written and I will send fire among against Magog and against those who are inhabiting the islands in security and they will have to know that I am Yahuwah I will make my holy name known among my people Israel and I will not allow my holy name to be profaned any longer. And the nations will have to know that I am Yahuwah, the Holy One of Israel. Yes, this is coming, and it will be done, declares the Sovereign Law, Yahuwah. This is the day I have spoken about. So, Yahuwah said he's going to send what? Fire against Mag Magog and against those who are inhabiting the islands. The Magog is the chief enemy, chief leader of the enemies of God's people, of, of the sheep of the house of Israel. They are the ones that scattered Israel among the nations. God said he's going to send fire against them. And those who are also in dwell, inhabiting the islands, 
where Israelites were scattered to bear punishment for our error. God said he's going to send what? Fire against all these enemies of God's people. And then we have to know that he is Yahuwah. Yahuwah said he's going to make his holy name known among his people of Israel. And he will not allow his name to be profaned any longer. Yes, the nations has profaned the name of the God of Israel. Some say it's God, Lord, Yahuwah, I mean, Yah, uh, Yahweh, um, Jehovah. They have profaned the true name of God of Israel. But Yahuwah will make his true name known among his people of Israel so that they will call upon him for their salvation. And you are hearing, you hearing God's name. For God is making his name known among his people of Israel. Yahuwah is the name of the God of Israel. He said, yes, this is coming and it will be done, declares the sovereign law, Yahuwah. And this is the day that he has spoken about. Yes, Yahuwah will magnify himself. He will judge all the enemies of the, his people, the Gog of Magog, with destruction. He will make his holy name Yahuwah known among the sheep of the house of Israel. And he will gather them back to himself. So Yahuwah will rule as king over all. So in conclusion of this presentation, let's look at Matthew chapter. Uh, we have identified who the true sheep of house of the lost. We have identified who the Lordship of the house of Israel are. Uh, they are not, they are not the Caucasians. By the things written about them, you will identify the sheep of the house of Israel. You will identify them by the things written. For they are people serving the punishment imposed on them. They are people that God is dealing according to the agreement that their ancestors entered into. They are people fulfilling the causes written in the book of Deuteronomy chapter 28 verse 15 to 68. By the things written regarding the sheep of the house of Israel, you can identify who they are today. So we have identified the lordship of the house of Israel, both the northern kingdom and the southern kingdom of Israel became lordship. They are the sheep belonging to the Yahuwah's pasture. And they are the ones that God said he's going to search out and he's going to bring back to where they belong. So. To conclude, let's consider the book of Matthew chapter 13, verse 38 to 41. There it is written, The field is the world. As for the fine seed, these are the sons of the kingdom. But the weeds are the sons of the wicked, wicked one. And the enemy who sowed them is the devil. The harvest is a conclusion of the system of things, and the reapers are angels. Therefore, just as the weeds are collected and burned with fire, so it will be in the conclusion of the system of things. The Son of Man will send his angels, and they will collect out from his kingdom all the things that cause stumbling and people who practice lawlessness. So the field is the world where the fine seed, the sons of the kingdom, the lordship of the house of Israel we are scattered among the nations. So the field is the world. 
So the, and the sons of the wicked, the weeds are the sons of the wicked. And the enemy who sowed them is the devil. So the harvest will be the conclusion of the system of things. And the reapers, the ones to gather the sheep of the house of Israel, the lordship of the house of Israel, back to where they belong, are angels. So, so the, the angels will gather the fine seed, but the weeds will be collected and burned up. And they will be removed out of the kingdom. Everything that is cursing, stumbling, and all who practice lawlessness. So, a good question to end with is this. Are you a lordship of the house of Israel? Or are you a goat of the house of Israel? Are you an enemy of the sheep of the house of Israel? Well, each one will have their rewards from Yahuwah, the God of Israel. It will come. Yes, from Yahuwah, the, the God of Israel, it will come. For Yahuwah said, He will rule as king over all. So we have considered how you can research and how you can identify the lordship of the house of Israel by the things written. And hope, I hope this presentation is enlightening to you and help you to do what is right before the conclusion of the system of things. For all the enemies of the sheep of the house of Israel will be annihilated, be collected and burned up. So if you are not of the house of the lordship of the house of Israel, you can gain favor with the God, Yahuwah, the God of Israel, by doing what is right supporting the sheep of the house of Israel by choosing to serve Yahuwah the God of Israel with his people probably Yahuwah will spare you when he rises up to take action to gather back his sheep that is the only way for the other people of the nations to, to gain salvation is to turn around repent of the sins of their ancestors too and seek to serve Yahuwah the God of Israel with the, the true people of Israel. Well, until I come to you next time, you can like, share this, um, share this, share this with your friends, uh, leave a comment, uh, let me know what you think about what you what you just what you are hearing. We are living in a time, we are almost at the end of the conclusion of the system of things, and there is time is running out. Soon the sheep of the house of Israel will be gathered. Again, thank you until I come to you next time. Remain blessed.